chapter 1 real number system generally the real number system in a real life it is useful generally everything is measurable and everything is quantifiable but quantifiable t can be defined it as a number with numbers what sort of numbers suppose a man is taken birth plus 1 a man is died minus 1 neither he had taken a birth or but he is still in a mother's womb zero neutral stage therefore until unless if it comes a reality then only we can measure it if we, and uh, it can be measurable therefore but really real number system has been started with a sort of a number system that is called a complex number system in a complex number system there are two parts will be there generally complex numbers can be written as either a plus ib we are writing a is called real part b is called b is also real number since it is involved with the ib therefore we are calling it as the imaginary part of it therefore the complex numbers can be divided into the two parts the first part is called real numbers real part second one is called imaginary part but generally there is an extension of imaginary number system with regard to the scientific applications of black holes today you are going to find today you have seen the particle of boson which we are calling as a god's particle which is an imaginary plane therefore these are all things applications of the imaginary number system which is also a part of a complex number system but in a real number system they have two things are there this is minus infinity to plus infinity it starts therefore in between we have a zero either zero is either positive or negative but generally this we are calling it as an extended real number system this we can express in terms of minus infinity to plus infinity like this but real numbers can be divided into the two parts the first part which we can call it as a natural numbers we can call it as natural numbers are starting from 1 2 3 and so on up to infinity natural numbers are also called countable numbers in the same manner from the natural numbers we have one more number system that is called integers there are two types of integers are there positive integers as well as negative integers positive integers can be measured it as z plus which we can express in the form of 0 1 2 and so on up to infinity in the same manner negative integers can be defined it as z minus which we are writing in terms of minus infinity and so on up to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and 0 which we can which we can call it as but the combination of these two z minus as well as z plus we are calling it as integers therefore z is equal to we can call it as z negative integers union 0 union this is called z plus now the main question is from the set of integers we can go for there are two types of number systems are there the first one is called the rational numbers generally rational numbers rational numbers are of the form p by q such that q should not be equal to 0 but where p and q are we can call it as integer p and q are called integers now my main question is like this why we are calling it as integer why don't we call it as a natural number system suppose <laughs> z plus is a subset of capital n z minus is not a subset of capital n therefore when i am defining p and q I, either p may be positive or q may be negative or q may be positive p may be negative or both may be positive both may be negative therefore p and q can take the natural numbers simultaneously it can take the negative numbers also then suppose a rational number can be defined like this rational number can be defined it as 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 you can define it as 4 by 3 and 5 by 2 like this we can but there is a question is 0 is a rational number 0 by something if you write it 0 by 1 equal to 0 it is also a rational number but unfortunate thing is 1 by 0 is also in rational number but the value is infinity but the rational number 0 by 0 is undefined which we are calling it as indeterminate form indeterminate form which we are calling it as now my main question is suppose if i have taken 
टू एंड थ्री आर द टू रियल टू रियल नंबर्स विच आई हैव टेकन आर टू इंटीजर्स कैन वी फाइंड आउट एनी इंटीजर्स इन बिटवीन दैम दैट इज माई क्वेश्चन नाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस वन देर इज वन सिंपल प्रिंसिपल विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दिस वन वी कैन से दैट एवरी रियल नंबर इज अ रैशनल नंबर बट एवरी रैशनल नंबर इज नॉट ए रियल नंबर and simultaneously we can say that every rational number is a every re, every integer is a rational number but every rational number is an okay every integer is a rational number because we can express in this way 1 by 2 you can write 1 by 1 you can write it 2 by 2 you can write it 3 by 3 but every rational number is not an integer therefore for example If I have taken it as like this, one by two I have taken. One by two is not an integer, but one by two is the fraction part of it. Generally, which what in what manner we are defining it? Suppose if I take a square, if I make it as half, out of these two parts, I am taking it as only one part into the consideration. Therefore, we can say that every rational number is a not an integer, but every integer is a rational number. Now our main task is. how many rational numbers we can generate between the two real numbers that is the next question my main interest is i want to find out first one is finding out rational number between two integers general concept is like this in this we are going to use the concept of arithmetic mean what does it mean that is called simple average suppose if i take a and b are any two integers if i take it in between of it if i want to find out a rational number what i can do is a plus b by 2 i am taking it now a plus b by 2 is a rational number between a and b two a and b are two consecutive integers suppose a plus b by 2 is called the arithmetic mean what i am calling it as this anyhow you are going to study in progressions now suppose if i take an example if i take like this 2 3 i have taken let us take 2 is a b 3 is b then i want to find out x is a rational number let us take x is equal to you can take it as a 2 plus 3 by 2 that is equal to 5 by 2 which we are calling it as a 2.5 now if you see this on a real line if this is 2 this is 3 2.5 is in between now my main interest is i want to find out in between of 2.5 to 3 i want to find out at that time you can take it as let us call it as this is y y you can write in the form of 2.5 plus 3 divided by 2 i can take it y equal to you can call it as 5.5 divided by 2 which you can call it as 2.25 therefore but the problem arises is 2.5 plus this one 3 5.5 Two twos are four. Two twos are four. Two five. The two point two five. Two point two five is we are getting it as here. This is called two point two five here. Now my main interest is I want to find out in between of two point five to three. I want to find out in between of two to two point five. Also I want to find out. Let us call it as. Let us take it as this is y. Let us take some other number q. If you take it. then if i want to find out in between of 2.25 to 2.5 i want to find out then i can take it as 2.25 plus 2.5 divided by 2 which is equal to 2.75 divided by 2 which we can call it as this you can call it as 4.75 divided by 2 which is equal to 2.23 is a 6 Two sevens are fourteen. Two fives are two point three seven five. That implies here near about. I am getting it. That implies I can find out by using a plus b by two as many number of as many rational numbers are pos as possible between two and three. This is one important aspect which we have to remember. 
Now the logic is like this. Generally, if I take any two generally the, in a simple sense, suppose if I take A and B are two integers if I take it, A plus B by 2 is going to be the mid of it. A plus B by 4 is going to be the in between of A to A plus B by 2. Next point is going to be this you can take it as 3 times of A plus B by 2 is good. 3 times of A plus B by 4 that is 3 fourth of it is the next number that implies in a normal sense there are 4 rational numbers there are 3 rational numbers can be generated in between of A and B. Now my main interest is going to be suppose if I have taken integer I have if I have taken a rational number whether if I divide the, the rational number if I divide the rational number whether we are going to get the terminating decimals non-terminating decimals and recurring decimals that implies the extension of this concept is going to be the decimal number system.